welcome each and every one of you to this place of worship. Uh, let's thank God for this beautiful morning. And uh, we have a couple of friends visiting us this morning uh, from Nagaland. So if you have seen the, the association down there in Kim Tribe, uh, women team visited us this morning. And uh, they will be singing a special number. And during the time they come up here to sing, I asked them, I asked one of the leaders to introduce your team, and why you are here, and where you are going. And so a brief introduction, we'd like to hear you when you come up here. Apart from the Incum team, is there anyone attending our church for the first time? Anyone? Intercessory prayer. Thank you so much. Well, uh, you know, the, it's a long story but I will try to make it short. So many things that I would like to share with our church congregation. And yeah, today we have special number again preaching and so many other things. And also I have to pray the intercessory prayer. And so I will just, uh, you know, make a, 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 a short day again. We were not planning before. Your uncle in law. Why? Because there were three very clear specific reasons that uh, you know we were not so willing to go. What are they? Number one, visa problem. If we apply now, we'll be given chance for an interview of visa only not next year, but 2025 only. So that was another. Second one, what we think? Money. It's not easy. It will cost us lots of rupees. Third, look at your uncle. Look at me. We are aging. And especially your uncle, though, even in the campus, they hardly walk around even though Andy comes to office every day. So those three valid reasons were there as to why we should not go. But we were compelled to go because our daughter was seriously sick. And so overnight we decided many of our supporters also did not know that we would be going so in the session, God provided our needs, and we had to fly. If I have to narrate how we were given visas, how we got money, uh, and then how we seek, you know, with what instinct, we decided to travel, and even the, uh, you know, medicals have happened. And yeah, then we had short of the time. We were given the visa, we got the money, and with our sick, you know, uh, ill health, we decided to go. Reach Calcutta. We, we had to fly, you know, in the middle of the night. Midnight. And that very day, on the eighth of our departure in Nagalin House, Calcutta, your uncle again became so sick. And he even said, sleeping, I, uh, I mean, I'm just wondering whether I would be able to make it this trip. Only the two of us. And you can just imagine the, we have spent so much of money buying tickets. What if we do not come? You know, my only decision was all right, okay, you take grace, I'll be praying for you. Sitting next to the bed, you know, where he was lying, I was praying. I touch his body. And then I started praying, praying, and suddenly there was like an earthquake yeah, over his body twice. From top to the bottom, shh, and I continued praying. Second earthquake, shh, and I continued praying. I said, I'm in, and he went to sleep for a few minutes. After a few hours, we had to go to the airport and 
in start our journey. We all got lighter, you know, uh, as though something came and uh, like an electric shock and we could find it. And 
understanding, he will continue to shepherd you. I'll read again. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. Then I will keep you shepherds with my own heart, God's heart. That's God's promise. With knowledge and understanding, they will continue to shepherd you. May God bless the reading of the scripture. It is very important for all of us. Today, around the world, today is a day where every church are organizing a shepherd day, pastor day. Pastors are human beings, they fail. Pastors also do not look like an actor and actresses, they fail. Pastor wife, they fail. Even today, Ali got sick, something, something, something. she did not come. Sometimes, pastor children also fail. Sometimes our, ex, ex, our expectations are not rich. Please know that they are human beings. They are born like you and like me. Yet, God continues to use our pastors and family members, and without Tutang Bangleng Lai Lai Lu, I call her, okay, the longest man. And without Cindy Gus, without Badasi, without Ali, pastor can never become a pastor. So we need to really appreciate even the family members. Therefore, I really feel that I should call all these elders. Maybe next year I may ask women. Next year I may ask children to lay hand and really appreciate uh, in prayer. In every session of this family, shall we all stand?
just want to Well, my God's grace, my God's grace. So I just handed over all these young people. Like now, uh, Ben Longchar, he's taking over the church planning work. Dem Jen Bongwander, he is the principal of the college. And then uh, Pastor Nibu is the pastor. Well, Churches around here in Philippi also. Mm -hmm. And out of 7,000 churches, yeah, yeah, yeah. here in Chile, no, no, in Chile, in Myanmar, oh, in, uh, in, uh, in Bangladesh, in Nepal, in Bhutan, and 16 states of India. So great. Yeah. My wife and me, we never can even live one day. That's what we heard from her today. Really, you are doing a very great job for God. Yeah. So how many children do you have, sir? We have four. Four. Yeah. Our first daughter is a lecturer here. Mm -hmm. uh, she married to a British. Oh. They have their own ministry again. Here. Yeah. And second is my son. My son is looking after the higher secondary school. The third one is my daughter who was sick in America. Oh, what she's doing there? She was a banker. Oh, bank okay, but okay. now paralyzed. Now she can drive, she can walk. Okay. The last youngest woman is also uh, in Texas. Oh, yeah. I so, so good. he works in the Blood Bank Group. Mm -hmm. He's a thicken of the first Naga Baptist Church in, yeah, so in America. Is he? Yeah. God has blessed you, beautiful yeah. and wonderful children. Yeah. So I have two boys, two girls. Oh, good. Yeah, all are blessed. Next time, so blessed. you guys should come. We have our guest house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Group, some pastors, Sima Church, Mao Church pastors, for example. Mm -hmm. Church pastors, for example. Even Bohemia, yeah, church. Yeah. Women group also, youth group, so they come. Mm -hmm. We take class, okay. maybe at least one day, two days. Is it? Yeah, yeah. And then the, you and guys can go for shopping feel, one day. Yeah, feel yeah, exposure, yeah, yeah. especially feel exposure. I was just thinking, oh, this mm -hmm. will, after all, rich salary. I don't know any more. And then, uh, as our investigator has said, we plan to go to game. So we thought that we will not get much time. No? So next time we will plan, and then, as we have said, we will encourage our youngsters also whenever we will be deciding. So then, we will take the training. We have a non stop training for the Christian Mission Center. After I retired, the office wanted to fill another resource and I should not stop, but I should get involved in giving training. So, no, I, when I saw you guys, I
Younger than us. Younger than us. Sort of, a lot of you belong to the same community. No, I'm Tanku. She is now. Oh. She belongs to Surasu. 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 Surasu people are so smart. She is. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Russia. See you next day. Thank you so much, man.